status check. Go Vulcan. Go Centaur. Go Peregrine. Fifteen. Ten. T minus ten. Nine. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. We have ignition. And liftoff of the first United Launch Alliance Vulcan rocket, launching a new era in spaceflight to the moon and beyond. T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. We have ignition and liftoff of the first United Launch Alliance Vulcan rocket, launching a new era in spaceflight to the moon and beyond. Good 
hydraulic pressure on both engines. Good chamber pressure on both engines, everything looking good. Coming up on 60 seconds into the flight, everything looking good. Two good engines, two good SRBs. Body rates look good, nice and smooth. And we've hit our first throttle point on the BE4, is everything looking good? And we have passed through Mach 1, we are now supersonic, coming up on max Q. That max dynamic pressure, everything looking good, we're rolling off on the SRBs. And we have cutoff on the SRBs, coming up on jettison in approximately 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds, that's our beat jet, BE-4s continue to operate nominally. Seeing expected PU activity and the boost remains. And we have separation of both SRBs, everything looking good, BE-4s continue to operate normally. Coming up on two minutes into the mission, we are now 17 miles in altitude. We just heard confirmation of solid rocket booster jettison. We have about three minutes until we reach our next mission event, booster engine cutoff. And we see booster PU correcting towards the nominal MR, everything looking good. Both engines continue to burn normally. And we now weigh approximately half of our liftoff weight, everything looking good. And we fired the pyro valve activating the reaction control system 